Hi guys, welcome to the second video in the series of Simulink modeling. If we want to evaluate this product in MATLAB, we simply type out these lines in command window. But how to evaluate this in Simulink? But, why there is a need? We are doing this just to make Ursul familiar with Simulink and various blocks available in Simulink. Now to evaluate this, we divide this into sum of two terms, each term is a product of another two numbers. Let's model this. Open Simulink library. Go to sources. Drag and drop the constant block to the workspace. Change this constant value to 77 as in our product. Instead of dragging, we can search the block in the workspace itself by double clicking, if we know the block name. Now change its value also. Now search for a suitable block to multiply with a constant value. I hope this gain block will help me. Now change the value and connect it. Similarly search for another block and connect it as we did previously. To add both of them, we use add block available here. Connect the two products to the add block inputs. Now we want to observe the output. Search for it. A scope won't work this time. So we use display block. Connect the block. Run the model. Yup we got the answer. Instead of adding these terms, if I want to subtract them, we can either drag a sub block or we can change the sign here to plus and minus. Run it. Yup we got the solution. Let's check it by using subtract block. Yup both results are same. So we can change the available blocks on our wish. Here my result is 209. If I want to subtract 9 from the result, how can we do that? Any ideas? Let's see. If we connect the constant block, it adds to the remaining inputs. We can change it, as we did previously. We can observe the change. We can also give as many inputs we need with different signs. Run this script. Yup we got it. Let's have more fun with it. Now we want to evaluate this. Let's divide it to two main parts. Then we divide this as product of two numbers. Now get into Simulink and model it as we did previously. Search for the necessary blocks and arrange them. MATLAB take i and j as imaginary values by default. So we directly assign it as shown. Now take a constant block with value 5. To get the square root of 5 we make use of sqrt block and connect it here. We drag the addition block to add these terms. Then we search for subtract block and connect it. Finally, a display block to observe the output. Instead of three blocks here, we can model it using one block like this. Hooray! In both cases we get the same result. That's all for this video. We will come to you with other video next time. Thank you and sayonara.